take a break as soon as you feel like your face is getting sensitive sensitive to your touch sensitive when you apply like a simple moisturizer sensitive to anything if you feel like your face is a little bit inflamed your face is getting red just stop take a break take one week break take two weeks break until your face get back together until your face is not sensitive okay and during that time you need to give a lot of hydration you need to give a lot of moisture into your skin if after using retinol or tretinoin or retin adr or adapalene you notice that your face is getting darker and darker i'm going to tell you something stop the treatment right now just stop okay stop it means that your face is sensitive to that product and if you also are not using the just sunscreen properly if you also are not wearing your hat every day when you go outside it means that you need to correct something it means that you need to up your game and sometimes it also means that you need to maybe change the vitamin a that you are using you may maybe you need to change your retinol or your tretinoin because it may be too aggressive for your skin so sometimes changing those things is going to help you so you need to stop all treatment until you get your face back until you get the color of your face back and when this your skin color is back you are going to incorporate the vitamin a again slowly you are going if you were using that twice per week or three times per week decrease one day only use once per week or two times per week if you the percentage you were using was 0.025 percent maybe try to use a 0.001 percent like that the lower percentage ever you can find on the market if you were using a certain type of retinol or retin adeide maybe they are too aggressive for your skin you need to choose a different brand you need to choose a different one a different one that is going to be gentler on your skin now on your break day on the day where you are not using the vitamin a i recommend to do the slogging method because on on the day where you are not using the vitamin a especially on the break day when you are not using any active okay you are not using any acid you're not using any vitamin a during that day i recommend you to use the slugging method the slugging method is just to add on top of your moisturizer a rich vaseline or a rich balm that is going to seal the moisture into your skin the goal is to give the maximum hydration maximum moisture into your skin the goal is to repair your skin barrier you need to add that into your routine to see wonderful results to see to have a dewy flawless skin never do the slugging method when you are using your vitamin a or your tretinoin or your retinol never do that never add vaseline or petrolatum or rich sealing balm onto your face after you are using your vitamin a otherwise it's going to seal the vitamin a to your skin and it's going to help the vitamin a penetrate deeper into your skin now because we have a dark skin because there is a sealing the side effect is going to create irritation onto your onto your face is going to promote hyperpigmentation or darkening of your face so avoid doing the slugging method when you are applying the vitamin a on to your face this is another big thing that i recommend to everybody to to do always use a ceramide moisturizer or a rich lipid moisturizer on the day that you are using your vitamin a or your tretinoin or your retinol the reason for it is, is that it's just going to help you repair and protect your face and also minimize the irritation onto your face ceramide and lipid and cholesterol they are very great and good for your skin they are great to repairing your skin and protecting your skin so always have that into into your skin i, I remember there's a girl that that had a problem with tretinoin she noticed that she noticed that her face was were getting darker and darker all the time her face was really really irritated but as soon as 
she started to use moisturizers with ceramide she observed a big difference the sensitivity dropped the darkening stopped and her face started to repair itself so ceramide and cholesterol and lipid into a moisturizer they are going to be a game changer into your routine and lastly guys you need to be friend with niacinamide because not only niacinamide is an anti-inflammatory but also niacinamide prevent hyperpigmentation make sure that you get a good ceramide serum or a good ceramide cream so make sure that you use your niacinamide in conjunction with your vitamin a just because it's going to decrease the inflammation it, it also going to protect your face and something about niacinamide that people are doing out there is that people are using niacinamide 20 20 percent on their face no guys the maximum that you need is five percent okay five percent you don't need more than that if your face is accustomed to the ten percent fine but i don't really need that you need a ten percent niacinamide i feel like five percent niacinamide is is way enough it's going to give you more result okay so be friend with niacinamide if you don't want to use like a serum with niacinamide you can also buy moisturizers that contain niacinamide but make sure that when you buy a moisturizer with niacinamide make sure that the niacinamide is at the top of the list if you see that the niacinamide is at the bottom of the list it means that it's maybe one percent or 0.5 percent which is very, very low so when the niacinamide is at the top of the list like just after water or maybe the third ingredient it's a good sign it means that it may have a good amount of niacinamide into that product retinoin or vitamin a or retinol or retin aldehyde have been a game changer into my routine since i started using them my acne I, I stopped having acne I stopped having all those cystic acne I used to have that I suffered for like 30 years so that's why I encourage everybody to try to add vitamin A into your routine if you can uh, it's not an obligation but it's something that I recommend to every woman every man that i know so i hope you guys like this video if you enjoy this video guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and also ask all the type of questions that you want to ask in the comment section below and i'm going to take my time to answer to them i feel like treating away is a big topic and some of you may have questions don't hesitate to ask those questions in the comment section below and i see you in my next video